Hey guys, and welcome to The Colorful Gardener. My name is Josh, and today we're gonna to do update number three on how to grow tomatoes. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing for more gardening tips, tutorials, and unboxing videos. Okay guys, so we are on update number three. These bad boys have been growing for a couple weeks now. It's the, I'm past my last frost date, which is April 12th. It's time for me to put these out in the garden. Look how big they've gotten. Oh my gosh, this is so, oh my God, I can't believe how much they've grown. It's been so amazing to watch these tomatoes grow from seed all the way to little tiny baby plants. And now it's time to put them out in the garden so they can provide some great tomatoes. So at the most I'll probably grow around is 15 or 16 tomato plants. And I've definitely grown more than 15 or 16 tomato plants. I've grown around 100. And what am I gonna do with those? I'm gonna give those to my friends and family um, so they can grow them in their own garden. That's a great way to develop bonds with other gardening friends, share plants, and share ideas, and just share what you have. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna put the cages out and I'm gonna set those about a foot apart uh, for the space I'm providing them. Full sun, make sure you provide tomatoes full sun. I can't stress that enough. Tomatoes are a sun-loving plant. The more sun, the better. And the soil I have for them, it's been mended for a couple of years now. It's um, mostly clay-based, but it's been, I'm putting a lot of organic matter in that soil, especially bark has been put on that soil. So I'm not going to add any fertilizer to these tomatoes because this is a trial run for these tomatoes. Every year I'm gonna be trialing out tomatoes and I don't wanna give them any special help growing because I want tough tomatoes. I don't wanna to have to coddle these plants. I want them to stand on their own. And that's why I grabbed uh, heirloom plants because supposedly they're really tough plants. You know, they've been proven over time to do really well in people's gardens. I'm just gonna go ahead and just plant these in the ground um, where the tomato cages are and I've got a mixture of different types of cages. There's uh, tomato towers and there's like these cattle uh, fence cages that I've picked up from a friend and it's just different cages. And then I also have um, some tomatoes just growing up stakes. I'm gonna see how well they do just growing on stakes, not having cages at all. I'm sure I'm gonna regret it because they're gonna, tomatoes are a vine-like plant. They grow on the sides of hillsides in South America and Central America. Uh, so they do need support when growing. So. Uh, again, the, the six varieties I'm growing are Lemon Drop, Sweet Pea Current, Current, Mortgage Lifter, Cherokee Purple, Russian Tomato, and Glacier. So Glacier, I know, does need a little shade, so that one's gonna be put in the back. And then everything else, I'm just gonna, it doesn't really matter, I'm gonna put them here and there. Definitely put a tag around a plant. You need to know which plant, uh, tomato you're getting your plant from. And again, like I said, I'm just, I'm just uh, planting these. I'm not going to add any fertilizer for these plants. Uh, may, if you have really bad soil, I'll definitely consider adding organic matter, compost, mulch, straw, anything that will benefit the roots to help these plants grow. When you are planting tomatoes, also, if they're especially really leggy, go ahead and plant them one third or at least half of the stem underground because anytime you plant tomatoes stems under the ground they will root so that will give the plant more a bigger root system to develop and get gather that nutrients and water and have healthier fr uh, fruit for you if you have ganglion plants definitely suggest burying them halfway they won't mind it at all and that's pretty much it you can add straw or some type of bark around the base to conserve water i'm not going to do that like i said this is just a basic trial for these tomatoes i want to see how which one is the best of the best out of these trials so yeah. Thank you guys for watching The Colorful Gardener. My name is Josh. If you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing uh, for more gardening tips, tutorials, and unboxing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the future videos.